Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer card game review. And today's game, we'll be talking about Mokuru. Mokuru is an ancient Japanese art where you're going to be controlling a wooden object, which involves quite a lot of skill. This is a skill-based trick-taking game, but not a trick-taking card game in the way you would think. You're actually going to be using Mokurus, these little things here, and you'll be wobbling them around the table, probably dumbfoundedly for the first 10 or 15 minutes, and eventually you'll be gaining some real intense skills as you attempt to complete challenges. There's duels, there's single tasks, and then there's of course the grand master tricks that you can rank up to. Players are going to go down this belt line trying to get from the back black belt all the way to the master white belt. If you can reach that track before any other player by completing these tricks with those Mikurus, you're going to win the game. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look down below and I will show you my masterclass art of playing the game Mokuru. So here we have the Mokuru card game, and as you can see, it comes with trick cards, master trick cards here. A little sticker, two Mokurus, a red and a blue one. Nice bag to hold them in. This little belt chart, which goes from zero all the way to master class, and your rule book as well as your box over here. This is pretty much what you're going to be getting. These are the ancient Japanese wooden... <laughs> uh, tools you'll be using to flip around the board here and I'll show you how they function but uh, this is pretty much what you're gonna get every single player is going to get one of these little pawns here which will be moving up on this track and once somebody gets to this master belt here they are going to be presumed the winner of the game let's go down below now and I will show you what you get and how you well I'll show you how to play the game a couple rounds a couple tricks I'll actually take this tablecloth off just so you can actually see how to utilize these because these do not play very well on the felt mats I have currently, but they will play well on the wood I have down below. So I set up the Moku card game, and as you can see, you got your tricks here, your master tricks, you got your bag, you got your master belt, which goes from zero to nine, and your rule book just for the beautiful artwork illustrations, then the two Mokurus. You might be using one, you might be using two, it just depends on the cards. First player, go ahead and choose which one you want, and draw a card. That is going to have a battle or a duel or a regular type, so this is an advanced type of trick, this is a battle trick. Uh, this one over here, another advanced. Let's see if I can find some other different ones here as well. There's a challenge right there, and these are special cards. Immunity. This will, let you, this will prevent you from having to do a specific trick or cards that are played against you. When you draw one of these cards, you'll draw again up until the point where you get into a battle, an advanced or challenge or a duel or something like that, in which case you're going to be performing a trick on your turn. Okay, so the first player here is going to go ahead and draw a card. Let's go ahead and find one. Here's a basic trick. That's a good one to start with. This is the triangle. I am not very good at these challenges here, but I'll go ahead and give it my all. The triangle basically says you need to go ahead and have it go down like this, go here, and go here, and then stop it. You always have to have it start and stop. And the way it works is you're simply going to try and make it into a triangle. If you can do that with three attempts, and any of those three attempts, you're going to succeed and move up this track here. So let's see if I can do it. All right, you ready? Uh, I'm going to fail, but okay. One. Ah! Okay, that was, that was, oh wait, practice mode. One, two, one, two, three, stop it. That would be a triangle. One, two, uh, close. One, two, uh, one, two. Okay, so you get the idea. If you can stop it, that's gonna score you that point. You can go up this track here. This will get discarded and the next player is gonna get a chance to go and draw a card. This is a duel where both players are gonna have a chance to uh, complete it. So the first player will do it and then the next player and then back and forth until somebody succeeds it. This one is two flips and a kiss, which is basically like this. You'll start it off like this. You have to have it go, you have to have it flip two times and then you have to kiss it by tapping it. Ready? One, two, ah, all right. One, two, stop it. Ah, dang it. One, two, ah. And my final time, one, two, ah. Okay, and that would stop it. That would be a two flips and a kiss. <laughs> Another challenging one. But I think you're getting the idea. Some of these have some interesting ones, like a flip and hold. So all you gotta do is flip this guy over and put it on your hand and hold it. Ah, yeah, boy, that's how you do it. And then just be advancing, 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 right? All right, let's try something else. This is a square. This is an advanced duel. So you're having two players. When you duel, you're going to be choosing certain players to battle against. Sometimes you'll have to go back and forth. Other times you'll go at the same time. First person completed, and you still get three attempts to win. One, two, ah, square. One, two, this is, this is not going well. One, two, ah, last try. One, two, three, ah, dang it. Ah, I got it. That'd be a square as close as I possibly could do it at least. 
And I think you're getting the idea of the game. Um, there's a triangle back. This is a positive boost. A lot of these do different things. If you look in the rule book, it will actually tell you what all the different card tricks are, as well as, oops, what all the different action cards do. And they do different things depending on when you draw them and how you utilize them. But nevertheless, the only other thing you really need to know is once you get to the Master 8, or the 8 just before the Master Belt, you're going to have to start doing Master Tricks, which are these things here. Master, five flips and back. So you have to do, it, you have to do five flips this way, five flips back. Which is uh, totally easy, by the way. One, two, three, four. I didn't flip it hard enough. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, <laughs> one, two three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, I did it. That's pretty sweet. Five flips and back. If you can complete that as your final challenge and become the master, you're gonna win the Mokuru game. <laughs> this one is, is, is pretty entertaining, as you can see. Pretty addictive trying to do all these tricks. There's a lot of tricks. Anyway, let's come up and we'll discuss how I feel about this game and whether or not you wanna pick it up. So what's to say about the Mokuru card game? Well, first of all, it is a Japanese-inspired game based on the art of Mokuru, which is that, like, wooden... If you actually Google it, you'll probably see the little wooden thing that looks very similar to these guys here, in which they're moving them around doing all kinds of tricks. This one here is basically that style of game put into a more modernized board, along with the little black belt and the, you know, the belts and whatnot. The different types of challenges can be something of a sim simple nature, which is still pretty common complex when you're first getting into it, all the way to almost impossible for the modern man to do, because, I don't know, maybe I'm just not very good at this game, but it's a lot of fun. As you saw just on my playthrough, I'm like continually trying to get these tricks done. I think that for the most part, people who enjoy dexterity games are going to dig this one here. It's kind of a middle party game dexterity game in the sense that there are these take that cards, there's cards that make you do challenges and battles, and you're going back and forth with each other. If you... This is kind of funny because this game here, if you saw it and it seems interesting to you and you like the idea of moving the stick around and all that kind of stuff, you're going to dig this game. I noticed that I was constantly by myself playing this game, trying out the tricks and just trying to do, get better and better with it. And uh, you do progress. You do get better as you play the game. Some of them are just really, really seem like they're nuts. And then eventually you start going, oh, I actually, I know how to do this one. Or, okay, I've actually gotten the idea down for how to make these guys do what I want them to do. It makes me actually want to pick up one of those like ancient wooden ones and see just how much more difficult those are. This game's fun. For those people who enjoy this type of game, you're going to know that this is the specific targeted audience, that you, you're, you're the specific targeted audience for this game. You're going to like it. For those of you who don't like games that might be frustrating when it comes to dexterity, learning a new type of like tool or trick with these specific things that you maybe have never been used to, the timing and all the weight and all that kind of stuff. It reminds me a little bit like Ice Cool as far as the flicking the penguin game, but in this case you're going to be moving these little uh, these little plasticky weighted pillars around. Uh, but it's a little less for kids and a little like more for adults or maybe like somewhere right in the middle. Although I would not be surprised if you had your kid go on and make a video and just stomp the ever living poopy out of me <laughs> by showing me what kind of tricks they can do. I'm pretty sure that they would do a better job than me. Nevertheless, it, it's fun. I, 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 I'm in this like middle area with this game because I think there's a specific audience for this game that are really going to like it. And then there's people who are going to be really, really frustrated with not understanding it, not getting the idea. Uh, my buddy Grant, the cameraman, he was just like, I, I can't do this. I can't figure it out. And it was bugging him and me. I'm just like, oh, I'm learning. I'm getting better. I'm moving the pieces around. And he's like, oh, well, you're going to win this game. And, and I, I did, you know, but so for me, I really like this game. I have to be aware that there are other people out there who are going to be like, ah, oh, it's so crazy. All these different learning, you know, so I, I enjoyed this game. I think for people who like dexterity games, people who like these little trick-taking style games, I don't mean trick-taking card games, I mean just like learning how to make tricks with a unique piece of machinery, are going to like this game as well. It's what I'm going to keep in my collection too, because I know for a, for a fact there are specific people in my game group who are going to want to try this game once they come over, and they're going to have a ball with it. The trick-taking, uh, the, the action cards you play against each other back and forth makes it into a more of a party element, but otherwise it's a dexterity game. Anyway, take a look at the game Moku, I'm just kind of blathering about about it because it's it's just this weird kind of like am amalgamation of, of two different types of genres and something that really like spoke to me as a game but on the same hand I'm like I can understand how people might get like oh, I can't figure out how to do this thing so anyway take a look down below if it's of interest to you for me personally yes I liked it 
it, it was a lot of fun. All right, guys, thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you're interested in these videos, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment, and share this with your friends if you think they'd be interested in the Mokuru card game. This game is, is ridiculously addictive for those of you who like this type of a game. I will be playing this one probably right after we stop filming this, just so I can complete that triangle trick that I can't do, uh, as well as taking a look at our website, unfilteredgamer.com, tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. We're giving away a ton of games right now on the site. It's free to enter. You tweet and like and share and all that and then you have a chance of winning some really cool games and our live stream which is happening wednesday 7 30 p.m pst i was gonna say tomorrow but it's likely this won't come up until probably the day after so sorry you missed it you can go ahead and check it back but uh we have some really cool live streams going on and don't forget to take a look at my friends over at boardgames.com the giveaway geek and uh some other cool ones that pop up right up here anyway guys that's all i got for you this time and uh as always i look forward to seeing you guys next time doing the trip taking games before i uh send us out here i'm gonna go ahead and try and flip this guy one more time here we go right here see if we can do it i'm gonna try the triangle this is a, this is the skill based test right here one two no, 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 one more time one two three ah right that counts that counts